Welcome back to the Abundant Behavior Podcast. I'm your host, Ali Banks. Today, I have a very special guest with me. You know, on this platform, I like to bridge the gap from what the, the average entrepreneur or speaker knows and bring it to what the average listener doesn't know. You know, they say the biggest gap in the world is between knowing and doing. And the reason a lot of people don't know is simply because they lack the knowledge on how to do it. Today, we're going to be discussing interpersonal relationships in the digital age, speaking on dating in general. You know, with the social media going crazy, the dating apps going crazy, dating has become a weird space. <laughs> so what I want to do on here, get a like-minded individual on here, my brother, my boy. What's up, what's we up? was in the military together, my boy, Sean. It's somebody from personal experience. I've seen him in relationships. He's seen me in relationships. So there's somebody that I want to connect with on the platform just to bring you guys gems um, so that you can utilize them to just get 1% better every day. Before we get too deep into it, I just want bro to say his name, tell where he from, and just a little bit about himself, and then we're going to hop right into it. Shit, my name is Sean. Most people know me by Smitty. You know, I'm from Chicago and shit like that. For sure. You know, keep it nice and simple. <laughs> and who the fuck I am? No, I'm just lying. <laughs> for sure, bro. So I, I appreciate you for coming on the show, man. My bad, my bad. People don't know this what? Third time recording man, this episode. Man, take four looking at it. <laughs> at first, we was like, man, this this ain't meant to be, bro. But then I was like, nah, man, let's run it. They definitely need it. Let's run it. I'm in a total different headspace than from the first time we was about to do it. So I'm definitely excited about this episode for sure. So just to kick it off, man, um, what do you what do you look for in women? Um, and like out of what you look for in women, what's the most important quality to you? Shit. To me personally, I, I feel like the most important quality for me is she gotta be genuine. Right. You feel me? A lot of things like the interaction between you and her shouldn't be forced or something. It's just gotcha. something that's natural, just come out, just mm -hmm. kind of like freestyle. You feel me? Okay. So it's like the best quality. That's the best one you yeah. would say, just being genuine. A lot of people not genuine no more. Yeah. Everybody got these little sinister little hidden motives agendas. And shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. This is a wicked world right nowadays and shit. Have you dealt with that personally? Like. You was in a relationship or just talking to somebody and they showed you one thing and then you was like, ah, oh, man, you wasn't really Bro, genuine. I, I put my trust in you. I think, like, I think that's the hardest part about dating is like when you finally put your guard down, yeah. it show you something like, man, I probably shouldn't have did that. It's one of them times where people have, they, they when you first met them, they have a whole mask on that you didn't even notice. Right. And then once you get comfortable, like a little down the ways and shit like that, that's when like, all right, mm -hmm. this is who I really am. You feel me? A lot of people have, they change up. I don't know why. I, but I done with that. I did with, with that shit a lot, of, a lot of times, bro. Yeah. yeah, I mean because I think dealing with social media too, or if like if somebody sees you or they know you through friends, um, it's easy for people to show up who they, who who they think you want them to be. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Oh, he's a guy that <clears throat> goes to the gym. He reads or he does X, Y, and Z. Let me try to portray like th that's the person that I am, just so I can get him. And then you know, fake the funk for a little bit. Then those true colors start to yeah, come right. out. That's you know what I'm saying? That's never behind, that happens behind, a lot. Bro. That's just sad. Mm -hmm. Like, this be who the fuck you gonna be. <laughs> show, up, show up who you are. Yeah. That's one thing that I, I, um, one quality in women that I look forward to is like an authentic woman, somebody that shows up themselves. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, in, especially in this culture, you know, with the BBL culture or just anything, social influence is very big. You know what I'm saying? Being impressionable is very big. And a, a lot of women are impressionable. A lot of men yeah. are impressionable. But, one quality in a woman that I look forward to is that I'd like to sit back and see if a woman can think for herself, see if she's separating herself from the crowd. You know, how does she act? Is she swayed by her friends' opinions? Mm -hmm. and, or is she taking these opinions and criticism and coming up with her own thoughts and ideas? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's very important because I don't like no woman that can be led by a bunch of women because, you know, a lot of people are not genuine. And so, you know, you are the company that you keep. And a lot of times when you out and you don't have your own mind, you could be doing what they want you to do. They want what, you know what I'm saying, what these people want you to do. So I just like having a woman around me who can think for herself, bro. I think that's super important. No, for sure. And then I like a woman that, you know, she don't care about what other people think. You feel me? She got a lot no, of self-love and mm -hmm. shit like that. So yeah. you can't be altered by nobody else's thought. Because a lot of people want to they want to uh, impress others mm -hmm. or need validation from others. Yeah. So that self that self love that you spoke on, um, you think that self love is important when it when it comes to showing up as yourself and authentic and well, that's, just that's very living in your truth. Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs that. Mm -hmm. So what are some ways that that you like? You know, what I'm saying show love to yourself, whether it's the gym or reading. Like, what are some things that you do for so, the men out there? <clears throat> so I make sure I try to eat eat well. Right. That's and, that's um, very important. A lot of people don't understand that. Then I go to the gym. You know, clear my mind. You know, go outside, get some fresh air, touch earth, and shit right. like that. Yeah. And then 
I yeah. go home and try to like just just wind down. For sure, because how you do one thing is how you do everything. I think that the gym translate to a lot of things in your life. If you want to correct other areas in your life, go hard in the gym. Like mm -hmm. you know them times when you in the gym and you just going through the motions, and it's probably been a couple of weeks, and you like, All right, I feel like I'm hitting the plateau. I'm not really chasing anything. That moment when you decide to turn it up in the gym, you like, all right, let me see what else I can turn up in my other areas of my life. Let me pick up these yeah. books, man. Let me fast a little bit. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. So that's how I love myself, man. The gym, like you said, eating right. And then most importantly, like keeping good people around me, bro. I think that's super important. No, definitely. I feel like a lot of people nowadays, just to say they got friends or have company around them, they let anybody in their space. That's another, that's another thing right there, too, is a woman that, like, I don't, she don't really need everybody around her. She show up as herself, you know what I'm saying? She don't need the crowd. She don't need to be, you know what I'm saying, out in the open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, women, they, you know what I'm saying, they like to go out and they like to be showing off. But being on the scene, man, like, I don't want to see, you know what I'm saying, my woman on the scene all the time. Yeah, you know well, what I'm saying? Always, or, or, first thing I wake up, I see her shaking her ass on the internet. So she's like, <laughs> what are you doing, bro? So I'm just living my life. That's you know what I'm saying? You can saying? live your life all you want. I feel like, um, I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like they push these, this um whole live free thing to women and it's doing nothing but but hurting them in the end they press oh let her do what she wants she a grown woman shake your ass on the internet live free you know what i'm saying i mean do your thing and then they try to say oh that don't devalue me as a woman but i will tell you the women don't make the value the person that's a the person that's courting you makes the value he's you know you don't go in the store and tell them this paper is two dollars this is how much i want to pay for it no the person who has the paper is the person that adds the value to it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's the, it's the, like, just like back to that analogy, you know what I'm saying? If a woman wants to have better self-worth and she wants to value herself better, it's the image that you push. With social media, you can't just push any image saying that it's, you know what I'm saying, you're living free. Yeah. Because perception is definitely reality, especially with social media. You have to be very cognizant of what you put on social media and how you portray yourself. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Once somebody sees something That's their impression That's what they got of you Your value goes yeah, you down it's, that it's sad that it's that way It has to be that way But I genuinely Honestly Feel like that's how it is now Yeah I see It's a, a whole world of its own You yeah. know what I'm saying yeah. It's a whole world of its own So you have to be cognizant of that yeah, I see a lot of women That be talking about some Oh he just wanna have sex with me But Troy what you doing What you showing The nigga don't know What you like reading Or doing some other shit Or mm -hmm. adventuring type shit He just know you like to party And shake ass Right So he you already being sexualized because that's what you're portraying. You a sexual motherfucker, so you can't knock mm -hmm. a nigga for this one trying to fuck. Mm -hmm. He don't know nothing else. He, you ain't showed him nothing else. So fuck. Yeah, but I mean, it, you people can argue too that you can try to get to know a person. Mm -hmm. You know. So have you ever <laughs> have you ever been in an instance where you seen that the, you know what I'm saying shaking ass and doing this that and third, and you tried to get to know a person, or you just like no, ignore it off rip? No, nah, no cap. It's one of my homegirls, Snapchats. Uh, she showed one of her friends, like, shaking ass on her shit, right? So, you know, I sent a little eye emoji. I'm like, who that is? <laughs> That's my friend with my like, shit. I'm like, tell her what's up. Right. So, she sent me the number. And I started talking about right. my exes. I, I started going with her. And shit okay, like so, so, I guess perception isn't reality. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I guess perception yeah, is a reality yeah, in cases. Yeah, you yeah. just got to get to know a person. Out, so. But when it comes to the, when it comes to, like, your value... The way that you come off to people is definitely like because some people they might not even try to get to know you. So if it's if you want to hold value on yourself, just watch what you put out to the the public. You know what I'm saying? Watch what you put out to the public. Watch what you post. You know, because I'm cognizant of that as well. Like yeah. I'm not just gonna be putting anything out on the internet. You know what I mean? Not to say that I'm embarrassed. It's not to say that I'm ashamed of what I do. But it's like the internet doesn't need to see every part of your life. Yeah, they don't need to know the. That's fucking that's how I, you have to leave something a secret for <clears throat> like somebody that you want to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like me putting the print on on social media all the time. Like who who nah, like who want to see that? That's wild. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no homo. You know what I'm saying? No diddy. You know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> No, but it's it's true like you know what i'm saying women don't want to see that either and and men don't want you know what I'm saying? obviously i ain't gonna say men don't want to yeah, see that yeah. but it definitely it definitely helped it definitely makes them look at you a certain way you know what i'm saying i'm not even gonna lie like okay having fun dancing that's cool that's cool having fun and dancing but if it's constant that's all i see this it's like okay all right yeah. you know what i'm saying so I so how do you feel about people, you know what I'm saying, that go from relationship to relationship and never give their time that space to heal? Do you think that somebody can actively heal from a lap, a past relationship currently in one? No. 
if you don't give yourself time to think and clear out and try to reevaluate like what happened, process, well, fully process what happened in that past relationships or the past few relationships, mm-hmm. then you can't really move forward because you're still going to be stuck in that little cycle mm-hmm. you've been going through. Yeah. So, yeah, you're just going to just fuck up every relationship you're going to be in. Mm-hmm. Or you're not going to take it seriously because you still holding, you, you might be holding back. Right, you know, so yeah. you can't really get this person your a hundred percent because fifty percent of you is still over here. Yeah, you know, soul ties are real. Uh, connect, watching who you connect with—that's been something. Or that the I've, trauma. Yeah, man, watching who you connect with is something that I've been cognizant on as well. Like, if I allow a woman into my space, we get to know each other, and I feel like you bringing any drama to my life or any you gotta go you gotta go oh god you gotta go you know what i'm saying you gotta go and that's one thing that i had to get really intentional about is setting boundaries setting boundaries um but going back to what you were saying about about not being able to heal in a relationship i was one of those people bro i'm not gonna lie for a long time i used to be get in a relationship break up chill for like a month or two get another the same cycle cycle repeatedly never gave my chance uh uh just a break to myself you know a lot of times with people we just real social people yeah and so a lot of times we just we just feel like we have to be around somebody and i think that just that feeling man you feel lonely you want somebody companion you know I mean, what i'm saying i low-key feel like it's a pro or con to that shit right so yes i back when i was younger i was going from relationship to relationship type shit like that granted now being that I've been through all so many relationships, I see certain things all rip. Right, you I, know I'm how to pick up on them I'm already. Experience now, right, I've been, so you, I've been around a lot of people. Okay, so that's, a, that's a pro right. to that. Yeah, show. no, that's yeah, that's yeah. the pro for sure. But the con is like, nigga, you don't really know what you want for real. For real, you just accept them anything. Like because you, know. you can get to a point where it's just automatic. You can learn women and you can learn behaviors, and it becomes like this, this game. It's not intentionally getting to know a woman. You know what I'm saying? It's because oh, I've been here before. I know mm-hmm. how to. I know how to. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah, what I. Well, I, I know how to. Yeah. I know how to quarter. I know how to make her feel good. But are these true intentions, or is it something you're going through the motions with? And that's something that I had to be cognizant yeah. on as well. You can go through those motions with any woman, mm-hmm. because uh, you know what I'm saying. The right woman, the right woman, no matter who it is, can stimulate you. The right woman can have you feeling peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you like, right, I like this. This feel good. But then you like, ah. Uh, and I'm, I'm going down this rabbit hole again. Then you find yourself in another relationship, and that was me. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, wait, you know, saying, it wait. ain't, it's, it's, ne- it never start off. It just feels too so good. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It just feels so good. But with this break that I've had, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, 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 definitely took this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, obviously I've, I've been dating, but I haven't been in a serious relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been a minute. Well, like a year. You know what I'm saying? I think this is the. I ain't gonna lie. This is probably the long. It's probably the. I ain't gonna lie. This is probably the longest time I've ever been out of a relationship straight, bro. Oh no, that's crazy. Work. I'm twenty. <laughs> I'm about to be twenty nine, bro. No, that's crazy work. Yeah, bro. I don't know. I, I, that's why I was like, bro. Let me step back. Like, mm-hmm. let me step back and truly focus. You know what I'm saying? Put all my attention on on, on my craft and just see where it take me, bro. Yeah. You know. They say don't. They say don't, don't go looking for it. It's gonna come find you, type shit. You know. I I know, bro. I know, I know, and that's that, that's sucks, when that's yeah, when faith yeah. comes in too, because you sitting back and you like, well, God, is this the one right here? I mean, I met a lot, but is like, this like, the one? Show, show me a sign, please, like, bro. <laughs> Fuck. But no, a lot of times, I, well, I start to notice right. now, like, um, if you got a good soul or you a good genuine person, you can't help but attract people, you right? Know? So mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to like it's push inevitable. everybody away because you meet it's good inevitable. people, but you don't know if right. they really meant for you type shit. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a, that's, yeah. tough. that's tough. I go so, through that shit a lot. Yeah, it's crazy how you said meant meant for you, man. Do you think it's one person for everybody? That that true love that you know what I'm saying. My person is out there somewhere. Yeah, I, I say your yeah. your person might be in Brazil. Could be your person might be in Dubai. Could be how you gonna ever find? <laughs> so do so, you, so many. People yeah, so you do. Do you believe it's one person or do? Let me hear um, your insight on that. It's, I've had this conversation before. You ever seen Superfly? I haven't. I th- I, <laughs> you got. You got to watch the movie. I talk about that. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> but no. Nah, yeah, I feel like there's somebody for everybody out here for real. Just one person designed for everybody, or is it just? I one like it's, person it's a, it's, that, it might be a, a meaning of compatible, highly compatible. Right. One. Yeah, I, I would say that out of those, one person meaning, that could genuinely feed your soul. Yeah. Man, what if you never come across <clears> that person? That's what if I. You never come across the person. You just settling. You got bad energy or something. Okay. I mean, you, but like I said, what if she is in Dubai? Take a trip to Dubai, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to travel? I'm saying. I, I mean, how, how long do you think I'm going to find my love in two, three days in Dubai? You feel what I'm saying? 
<laughs> so I all I, I I like I said I feel like you attract good energy, and eventually you will just come cross paths with somebody that's that's so compatible with it's you gonna, you can't see you. yourself without. It's gonna hit you unexpectedly. It's gonna be one of the ones that's not even on your radar. It's gonna hit you like damn, like I ain't gonna use. You right. cool as fuck. Like I really fuck with you. That's, it's that's, always that's the unexpected yeah, yeah. when you when you're not intentionally trying to get at a woman. Mm-hmm. It, it's always when you let when you sit back, chill, relax. You know what I'm saying? And let it happen naturally. Those always be the best yeah, you companionships, just, best you relationships. Sit back and focus on your life and shit. Motherfuckers mm-hmm. come. Damn, like what the fuck you come from? Come blindside your ass. Right. And shit, yeah. I think for me too. I'm just gonna like <clears throat> before I get into a relationship, let us just. Enjoy each other and be friends first, man. I think that's. that's I was watching a podcast was saying like that's a lot of people important. last these long marriages last, and the, the people that they surveyed said that the reason that they lasted so long was because they were friends first. The relationships that last forever be because they friends yeah, first. You have to be friends. You know what I'm mean? saying? They can't see each other without that best friend. That you know what I'm mean? saying? When you get in a relationship and all you seen was man, she was twerking. It. You know what I'm saying? She looked real good. Or he look good. He got a little beard. Got a little gray in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but that, but besides that, it's all surface level, man. And it's a pleasure, a pleasure for the moment. You know what I'm saying? No, so. That's that's very important, bro. I try, yeah. I, try, I try to preach that, bro. Like you have to be friends, being friends because you just jump to like I see I seen a post some shit like oh uh, it says somebody like <clears throat> somebody got 90 days. You feel me? And then they didn't want to be serious. Like, what you mean 90 days? A lot of people are holding back. You don't right. know shit. You ain't, you probably know their favorite color and they pay food maybe in ninety days. They probably tweaked out. You get past. I'm with them now. Now you you mad like damn. I should have never did this because they tweaked out now. Mm-hmm. So no, you got it. It takes time, bro. You actually got to get to know this person. You got to want to be their friend. For a good successful relationship, you definitely want want to be their best friend for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. That, once you get your best friend, bro, ain't no ain't no, def- ain't no denying that shit. Bro. So is that like something subjective or? Or like, cause a lot of a lot of women put time stamps on stuff. Like you was saying, I seen a post as well where they're like, if we ain't, if we, if he don't tell me to be his girlfriend by month three, we done. Then you, then bye. But I, I do pressure. think that's like a like I I do think it's the opposite side to that as well. People know what they want, bro. Yeah, I can know I want to fuck in, with you in ninety days. No, I'm, it, not, I'm not making my intentionally girlfriend talking like dating, hanging out for ninety days, bro. You 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 know if there's somebody you in your ones, space, yes, yeah, certain ones you can, but that's a rare thing though. No, okay, that's a rare thing, right? My motherfuckers, but I, I guess, about I, year, but I guess to hang out with somebody, a woman that much in three months, you really <clears> gotta like be connecting with her anyway, right? You really gotta be picking her fucking brain for three months, and you like, ah, right, it's one. Yeah, I've been across some yeah. motherfuckers like that. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, I'm like, I, fuck, I really fuck with her. Like, she right, cool, the genuine right. shit. You know, mm-hmm. just naturally these happens. You yeah, you had a natural connection and shit. So yeah. You know, it comes. It, sometimes it's like that though. But I've been around like people that, nigga, I was talking mm-hmm. to like a year or more, nigga, and then still figure out it's still more to you. Like, so yeah, I mean no that's the that that's the beauty of people, bro. You will never fully know somebody, and I think once that's you, a scary um, part. bro, it's it's scary, but the un it's so much pleasure in the unknown because what if it turns out great? You know what I'm saying? You got to think of the endless opportunities first. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, they say 50% of marriages don't last. But what's the other 50%? Marriages that lasted. A lot of people like to just beat up on the bad because it validates how they feel about certain situations. You know what but I'm saying? Part of the 50% marriage that do last, a lot of people just stay married but not right. happy, though, or mm-hmm. separate. You know, they open the marriages, yeah. so it's not. Not I can't. It's more to I it, can't bro. be unhappy for 20 plus years. Hell bro. no. That's one of my worst fears, I can't be bro. happy. I'm happy for... Five, five months, nigga. But, but, I, <laughs> but also, up. you know what I'm saying, just the serotonin and dopamine and energy levels, you're not going to be happy all the time. And I no, think that's, that's a realization that I had to come with. You know, I would get into relationships or just talk, and they like, man, you you always think everything's supposed to be perfect all the time. Mm-hmm. That's genuinely how I, I just want to feel happy all the time. But yeah, who doesn't? Yeah. But that's not realistic at all. That's something that I had to realize. That's not realistic. You're not going to be happy. You're going to have to fight. You know what I'm saying? It might be some infidelity. It's a roller coaster. Are you, are you willing to deal with the infidelity? Are you willing to, you know, these are things that you have to take into consideration before you you walk down that aisle. And that is exactly why I haven't even attempted to get married yet is because that, that, that conversation with God, that promise to God. That's who you making that promise to when you go to that altar, bro. It's not but that marriage talk scary, the other person bro. across from you, bro. It's God, man. That's different, bro. No, I'm sure. really religious. I'm really spiritual. Can't do it, bro. Yeah. That's going to be the one and only. We're going to kill each other in that house I'm before we you. get divorced. You know what if I'm saying? Down that that's, aisle, that's how I feel, bro. If I walk down that aisle. That's how I, I say feel. I do. If, if shit goes left, yeah, I'm going to jail for sure. Oh, man. It's going to take a lot for me to... No, try to a DV is crazy. You feel me? Yes. 
fuck you talking about? Yeah. I'm gonna knock this bitch head off for sure, for sure. It, fuck. It, yeah. I thought you loved me. <clears throat> you gotta die. I thought you was my cinnamon apple. No, for sure. <laughs> nah, cause marriage is it's a scary topic, bro. Cause yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic. What the fuck? Yes, I would like to be married, but the nowadays this 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 genre, mm-hmm. this generation is terrible, bro. Right. So I don't know about But you say you, you're the energy that you attract, bro. So, I mean, and I, I see a lot of people complaining about women, begging them for money, complaining about women, you know what I'm saying, being sex workers or whatever. But I have not come across any women like that. That's the women that you would try. I have not come across any women who just want you for your money, just begging you. I have not come across and that I attracted, that I talked to. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. could pick up on energy so quick, bro. I haven't attracted it. You know what I'm saying? For those who are aware, a lot of people just be coasting and don't pay attention to shit or not eat. You know what? Shit. Like I said at the beginning, the biggest gap in the world between knowing and doing, if you're unaware that you're getting played or finessed, mm, you through. You through. <laughs> you through. You through. You through, man. Um, <laughs> so, I went, so, I went through a, I went through somebody's phone in high school, bro. And I learned my lesson, and I'll never do that again, man. Mm-hmm. Are you the type to go through phones, or you feel like that's just like just insecurity and just I trust issues? I'll say I have done it before, but that's only because the person made me do it because they was doing it on me, which is not that's not my character. I really don't give a fuck what you got going on in your phone. You do what you do, you know. If it comes out right. the light, then you know I'm gonna mm-hmm. deal with it. But that's something that you got to deal with. Yeah, I, I can't system. control the fuck you do. Yeah. You're your own person. You do. Yeah, man. I learned. I learned my lesson, bro. That was. <laughs> I would never go through nobody's phone, and I just don't. I don't. I, I feel like it's really immature to go through somebody's phone. If you feel like you can't trust them and got to go through their phone, bro, just stop talking. No, to I, them. I, so I say, I'll tell you like this: It's more immature when you sneak and do it. Right, got just you. Just be upfront. Let me see your phone. Got you. Yeah. So that's got how you. I am. Like, if you ask for my phone, I give my phone. Just ask straight up. Don't wait till I'm drunk or sleep. Right. Just try to go through my shit. Like that's 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 weird. That's weird. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not trying to hide shit. Just ask, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my, yeah, that's a lot of weirdo activity. <laughs> yeah, man, I ain't never had that happen. I don't heard about women like using the, the fingerprint and bro, I finding out passwords. This is stuff that a, I've never experienced. I never want to experience, phone, bro. I said, how the fuck did you get that? <laughs> when the fuck what? did you get that? She went. It, <laughs> bro, <that's just> <laughs> when they added their face. Yes, I said, nigga, when the fuck you take time to do this? I had to be sleep, but fucked up. Cause ain't no way in hell your face unlocks my phone. It's no way you experienced <laughs> that, bro. I did, I did. Bro. Man, it's no way, bro. I listen, bro. That will make me crash out, bro. Nigga, I mean, I'm not I'm about to sit up here and like, do yo. these games with you, bro. I don't have time for that, man. Let's not do that. We don't have to go down this rabbit hole of mm. of immaturity, bro. We are grown adults. Man, I've been through it all. But bro. also, <laughs> that's why you have to make sure the person you're dealing with, man, pick up on those signs of like, like, all right, if they got a lot of baggage, bro, if you can tell they unhealed, bro, just don't do it. See, we we know a lot of them signs. Yeah, bro. man, I mean, that's why it was bringing me to my next point, man. Is like when you see red flags, do you ignore them? You like, ah, oh, man, I could, I really like her. Let me just <clears throat> let me just put that. In, let me bypass that. A lot of times in the past, I ignored a lot of red flags, and it never goes well after that. Right, but you live and you learn. Okay, what's one of the major red flags that you've seen that was like, man, I should have just paid attention to that? Um, if you could say, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm, I'm just going to get fed on this motherfucker. Uh, let me see. What's going on? You don't got to get too specific. Um, let me give you an example. Like, say your shake got on the crib, right? You know how females like to wear Spanx and shit? Like, you know, what the fuck? But these, these are draws. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, boxers. Right. You walking your dogs around the block in your drawers. <laughs> you got neighbors across the street. <laughs> they niggas. And you sitting up in their faces, you got your drawers on. And you don't feel like that's a problem. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's one thing that that's 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 one thing that I've dealt with no too. No shots, I'm just saying. Nah, yeah, that's <laughs> shots, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's one thing that's one thing that I've dealt with as well, man. It's Women that you, you bring up something and they don't have no problem with it, but it's disrespect. Like, why should I have to, no, the thing is, why should I have to bring that up? Yeah. Why, do you not yeah. feel like that's, that's wrong? That's but wrong. when when you said something, was it corrected? Uh, Not, not initially, no. Mm. Okay. But it was. Yeah, so. But if, <laughs> if I didn't. I mean, sometimes it, people, it, it, sometimes it people like, just unaware that what they're doing isn't yeah, how they yeah, supposed yeah. to be carrying themselves, man. No, you know, it. people have their truths. And until you bring a new truth, they're going to believe what they believe is true. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
maybe you know what I'm saying that's how people raise it could but I mean potentially that can be a red flag if it continues if they yeah. get real mad at you argue that's another thing too when you bring up something they get real mad about it what are you doing all that for no for sure like I'm just talking to you mm -hmm. you getting defensive it's crazy yeah. so like when it comes to like the arguments and relationships man how do you how do you deal with those man as <clears> far as like not blowing up too crazy, not getting too, you know what I'm saying, irrational and just, like, so, having that emotional intelligence through arguments. So, all right, you got two versions of me, right? You got the version of me that troll. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk my shit back with you just because that shit, but <laughs> you got a version that's like, all right, I'm, let me not fuck around and shit like that. Right. I'm going to let you speak, you know, but once my time to speak, allow me to speak, you feel me? Like, don't try to talk over me or cut me off. I'll let you, you know, I'll let you talk. I'll let you but a lot of times thing. people just, mm -hmm. they, uh... They hear you, but they're not listening. Mm -hmm. They're not actively listening. Yeah, they just, listen. they already got a response they ready, in their head already. They ready. They ready. Yeah, like, yeah, shooting it off like, the hill. Damn, like, mm -hmm. why we got to yell for it? Yeah. Or they be like, don't yell at me, but you yelling, you yelling at me? Like, how did that work? Yeah, man. Like, you wanna, they want to control the conversation. Like, nah, that's not how I'm supposed to do. Yeah, man, I admit, bro, Um, I had to do a lot of self-reflection. I, I I was real angry, bro. I used to blow up, like, real angry, like, out of nowhere. Like, I'm cool to chill, lay back, but once I get there, man, I just, I bottle so much stuff in. That when it's time to let it out, Bobby, you that know what I'm saying? Out, yeah. It's not good, though. You know what I'm saying? But this is like you were saying previously. Just being in relationships, you start to see these traits about yourself. It starts mm -hmm. like, all right, I need to correct that. Oh, damn, I need to correct that. Oh, I need to correct that. It's making you better and better and better for that one true love in Dubai. <laughs> 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 no, for sure. But a lot of nah, times yeah. I realize, like, once I know, like, the, the, the conversation going south, I just be quiet. Like, okay, you got it. Right. What do you mean? Go, oh, like it's about to get to the yeah, point like, where it's about to get physical. Or it's right? already, already yelling and shit like mm -hmm. that. It's already yeah. climax. You just, just, you know how to remove yourself from yeah. a situation. Or they or they mm -hmm. want you to, like, a lot of people feed off their energy. They want you to, to, to no, come yeah. back at them. Like, mm -hmm. no, I'm not doing do that. Yeah, man. They, my energy. they feed off it because this is what happens in, in arguments right now. Let's just say you've been angry all day. Mm -hmm. And, well, let's just, for instance, your girl didn't, didn't, um, Make your lunch right. You go to work. You angry all day. You mad all day, right? And in order for you to get this off, you got to express it to somebody. You got to get it off. Yeah, yeah. So what you want to do in an argument, you want to transfer this energy because energy cannot be trans. I mean, cannot be destroyed. Only transfer from one entity to the next. Mm -hmm. So you had this energy. You come in. You da, 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 just going off. Boom. Now she got it. Now she like. Oh, well, nigga, da, da, da. boom. That's how happened. Now I got to transfer it back. Ah, boom. That's how arguments is a transfer it's of a energy. Ping pong effect. It's a ping pong effect, bro. So if nobody ever calms down, like you said, it gets like this. Yeah. It has to be a level headed person in every situation. So how? Become, so yeah. how? So have you been in a situation where you couldn't control your temper? How do, for the, the guys out there that have those problems controlling it? What is? What does it go through in your brain? What does it feel like going through that, man? Is it just, just you, you always being it. you, or it's just you talking when you can't control it? Yeah, it's just like, bro, I really want to just like you know. So a lot of times when I when I would, would snap, it's like when I'm I know I'm genuine, and you question that or lying or telling me I'm lying or something. Yeah, yeah. Or you, and you trying mm -hmm. to make it like I'm trying to do something to show off or do some other shit like I'm literally just being me. Right. Yeah. Or you just coming at me for no reason. I literally ain't doing shit. Mm -hmm. You just yapping at me like, yeah. Sometimes right. I, you, a lot of people if they if you keep allowing them to do it, they're going to keep doing it. So sometimes you got to talk back to them. Sometimes right. you got mm -hmm. to. So yeah. yeah, I don't like I don't like it, but sometimes it do feel good like shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, no. Nah, <laughs> I ain't really no bitch out like. Yeah, for sure. Still, sometimes you got to talk your shit, you got to stand up for yourself. You can't just be no pushover. No, nah, for sure. For sure, for sure, man. I read in the, the book, this book right here, man. For every man out here, <clears throat> The Ways of a Superior Man, this is a great book. It's so many gems in here. And to piggyback on what you said, just not being a pushover, man, it's a, a chapter in there that says, never change your mind to please a woman. And it goes into talk about how <clears throat> men are supposed to be the head and not the tail. Men are supposed to lead with the final decisions. You take heed to what your wife says or your girlfriend says. You respect it, uh -huh. but you ultimately come up with your own decision and never sway back and forth just to please a woman. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you the, the two things that's going to happen. The one thing that's going to happen is your idea is going to be right and everybody's going to be excited. And everybody's going to oh, I, I had my man back this whole time. Or two, you take her decision. It, it falls through. And then now she's looking at you crazy. Oh, he couldn't make this sitting on his own. He mm -hmm. took my word. That's when she starts to lose respect for you right there. No, that's true. 
that's when she starts to lose respect for you. When you when she knows anything she says can sway your decisions. Because she like, if I could say that and sway his decisions, he probably let niggas sway his decision in the streets. He probably let women just sway now his decisions. Gullible. Now you're a gullible and, and, ass. You know what I'm saying? Now mm-hmm. you gullible. Now you look now they they slowly but short slowly but surely start to lose respect through that. That's but sad. if you take if you take your own decision, take heed to what she said, come up with your final decision. If you fall through with it, take that as a man on the chest. I made that mistake. Mm-hmm. And if you and if you so happen that it goes through the way it's supposed to, take it on the chest. But just always know, never change your mind to please a woman. That's why, man, this book right here is key. Go out and get this, man. It'll help you in dating and relationships for sure. That's why I had to sit in right here in case I forgot. I about that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, man. Get, that book is it's gold, bro. It's a lot of stuff in there. It's another chapter that talks about work as if your father is dead. You know, a lot of people, just to, not to get off topic, but it talks about how, like, a lot of men and women, they try to live up to these expectations of their parents. Oh, yeah. And for a long time, they go here. They date these certain people. They do certain things just to please their parents. So it says work as if your father was dead, man. Just do everything you want to do as if he's not around. I think that's important, mm. too. But to get back on topic, man, how do you feel about going 50-50 in relationships? And I know people tired of hearing this. I just want to get your insight on it. So I think people got 50-50 mixed up. So, right. So people think 50-50 is like, oh, I go half on everything. Really, 50-50 is like, I'm meeting you, I'm meeting you halfway. Mm-hmm. Y'all can still do everything. I can pay for this fully. She can pay for this fully or what the fuck, maybe. maybe whatever's comfortable for y'all. Right. But as long as you meet that person halfway, you know, it really mm-hmm. don't matter what the hell is doing. Whatever. As long as if you down, I got you. You know, I pick you up. If I'm mm-hmm. down, you got you can pick me up as well. Mm-hmm. Then it's a back and forth thing. It's never no, uh, oh, this nigga ain't, this nigga can't provide. He can't, mm-hmm. he can't do fully for me and shit like that. Oh, I gotta pay for this shit. Ooh. them type of people you don't need, you don't need to be around and shit mm-hmm. like that. No, that's what. I, yeah, for sure. So, it's supposed to be a team thing. Mm-hmm. With me, with the with the fifty fifty, is that I see myself being a man of like high standing. You know what I'm saying? Down the line. I see myself being a man that has endless money coming in. Mm-hmm. I see myself being a man that has whatever he needs to provide for his family and his woman. But why are you in the race to get to that point? Because when you get to that point and you can provide for a woman and you can pay all the bills, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's when your, your your woman sits back. You know what I'm saying? She stack her bread just in case you fall flat. She can pick you back up. Or you can stack bread for further like, you know? investments or whatever. But like you were saying, when it comes to being in relationships, now that's how I stand on marriages. Like if you get married, I, I, I genuinely feel like a man needs to go out and work hard enough to provide for his wife and kids. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're in a relationship, you guys have to come up with your own constructs inside of your relationship to figure out what works best. Like he was saying, 50 50 is not necessarily everything is split down the middle when it comes to payments. Is you take care of your end, I hold you up, and we hold each other up. You know what I'm saying? It's no real, no real roles, but that's just depending on what you want to do. What works best. Yeah. And to, what works best. You don't have to do things because the internet says so. You don't yeah. have to do things because your mom said so. Do what works for you and your relationship. And yes. stop trying to mirror your relationship against what you see on social media. Mm-hmm. These false imitations and shit. For sure. Let me talk about this while I got this. So, are we going to get a little controversy? Dirk in India, right? Mm-hmm. This is one thing that I can't stand about social media and, like, how women think. All these women bash Dirk. You know what I'm saying? He need to leave Dirk alone when he supposedly cheated. Mm-hmm. They recently just took a trip. Every woman that I know shared the pictures. Now, these are women that swear up and down. They don't want to get cheated on. They were one woman, man. They, but y'all are glorifying the exact thing that y'all spoke against. It's a contradiction to what you're saying. I had this conversation with a woman that day that she, I'm like, I don't really want to be combative, but I just really, I'm genuinely confused as to how you guys can say one thing and push another one. Yeah. I, I don't like, I don't be liking that shit, but I don't, if I don't follow a lot of these social media shits. Yeah, it's just because. Uh, it's no real substance, bro. They are just copy and paste in it's their really, thoughts it's, and it's, ideologies. It's, it's, it's I need exactly a woman with her own brain. It's bro. Exactly what it is. It's social media. Up. And motherfuckers will they they social zombies. Everything they see. Oh, I need a Birkin bag. Oh, she got this bag. Oh, she got the wig. I need this wig. Like they followers and shit like that. Be a leader. That's why, like, like I was saying, man, a woman with her own uh, her own mind, bro. That's like the most important bro, quality too. That's me. a rare thing, right there, bro. It is is is. So how do you how do you feel about like, well, cultural backgrounds, but in dating, so much is when I'm talking about culture is just like um, dating outside your race. How do you feel about that? 
Uh, I would say I never dated outside my race for real. Mm-hmm. For real. Y'all Have you dealt with women outside your race? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so just break it down. Why do you date people outside your race? But why won't you? I mean, why would you deal with people like talk to you outside your race? And we know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And why do you not date them? I feel like I would deal with them because it's just laws of attraction. Okay. You know? Right. They look fine. <laughs> they got a little body. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. Know? Keep it 100. Shay might got that wet, wet. Maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> it is curiosity. You know? You know just, yeah. Test sure. the waters. But, but deep down, I always know that when I visit my, visit my family, my future wife and shit like that, I know she's black. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to venture out and go marry a snow bunny. I'm, to all those brothers that like snow bunnies, do your thing. But no, nah, it's not me. Right. I'm going right. to keep it home in the motherland. Yeah, man. My, my, you know what I'm saying? My white body count is zero. <laughs> I say I'm at, uh. Zero, brother. I ain't gonna lie. I said, damn, white. I can't tell. Uh, I say three. Ah, uh, yeah. Say, I'm at three. He getting canceled now. <laughs> damn. <laughs> he, I, he off the air now. I fuck with the colonizers. My yeah. bad, bro. <laughs> but nah, man. It's crazy that you said that because I'm the exact same way. The exact way you broke it down. Um, is the exact same way that I that I think, but one thing that I did have to do was we rewire, uh, rewire the way that I was thinking because it's like at any moment you're dealing with these women, yeah, it's cool, but you can get that woman pregnant. Mm-hmm. Now it's problems that come with this. Um, a lot of times when people are outside your race, what's the first thing that's different? The religion. That's like the main like the main factor right there. Now you have two opposing sides already starting off. Yeah. When it comes to religion. Now what's next The way y'all raised Were different Now mm-hmm. you have two Combatant sides That you have to compromise with Yeah You know what I'm saying Now what it comes with How y'all raise kids The naming The churches That's a it's, lot. Yeah. The food mm-hmm. It's a lot When it comes to like Culture because They say that Opposites attract No But science has proven That it's Like minded people Stay yeah. together longer Like minded people The less opposite- that you have to op- To fight and oppose on yeah. The less arguments the there are. God, that might be a Line up your fight. ideologies, thinking, and, and, and your values and morals with the people that you want to see yourself with. And that's something that I had to like draw back on and just stay with the black queens, man. Talk to the black queens. You know, you y'all got a fucking nerves. We're going to keep y'all around. Nah, man. I love, I love the black queens. You know, you man, for smack, sure. Oh, you want to smash y'all, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> Man, so how do you approach first dates to ensure that they go well? Yeah, first dates. So how if, how those be? For so you? usually, usually for me, my idea of first dates is probably like be a movie or maybe a Taco Tuesday. You know, not someone that's super loud, so we can still be engaged in conversation. Mm-hmm. We can hear each other, not yell, and stuff like that. So I just try to, you know, just might just say a little jokes and shit like that. You know, just right. just just pick each other's brain and shit like see. So is so them. for the guys out there that probably haven't had a whole lot of experience in dating, how do you plan for these dates? Like, how does that look for you? Pre-date, the date, thinking behind it. You know, a lot of people struggle in that area. You have a lot of men who can't make decisions on their own when it comes to dates. So how do you how do you handle that? Uh, a lot of people struggle because they lack creativity. But um, right. So I, I say I say this. A lot of times when if I don't start if I don't plan dates with you because I'm I lack I'm. Is you really not? I don't, I'm not. That I'm losing interest in you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but no. When you interest somebody, like you, like all right, you try to see like what they sharing or what they what they interested in. Like right, okay, mm-hmm. she like she like she like this. She like picnics. So, all right, let me pick a day on free. I got the phones ready. You know, I got I got all the ingredients. Yo, what you what you got going on today? Right. Or this date. Would you like right. to go mm-hmm. uh, go out here and stuff? Right. She like that. She say yeah. Then boom. So have it planned already. Yeah. yeah. That's one thing that I can con- contest to. Premeditated. <laughs> Guys, stop asking women where they want to go, man. Have it already mapped out. Have it already uh, mapped out. Sometimes you have to. Man, have it already. So thing. this is this is what I want to say. It's easy, bro. It's easy for you to sit back, get to know a woman, what she like and don't like, and then plan a date around that, bro. Yes. For some that, it's for <laughs> women, for, with the women that are vocal like that, a lot of people are just, just blank. So you got to pick their fucking brain. They expect us to already know. Yeah. Like you know, they like. They but if us. but if you asking a woman, can I take you on a date? And then she uh, say sure, and you say, where you want to go? No, nah, don't don't say no. Can I take you on a date? Them them, them for the motherfuckers you just slide the inbox. Them them motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, that's Yo, inbox. You let me take you out. That's in, that's inbox. So how? Uh, man, that's so you, inbox shit. you got the inbox. You got the inbox dating. Then you got I'm not the doing that shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> can I take you out? Fuck no. They give you somebody actually like. Yeah. I'm not doing that thirsty sure. ass shit. So you think just courting a woman on social media is thirsty, bro? Yeah. 
No, yeah, it, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends. For these uh these influencers, maybe. But it's like somebody like probably like just because you think they already big head. Yeah, a natural person like us and shit like that. You know, let's be posting their day to the night with a cooling. You know what, they bro? Sliding their DMs is not a bad thing. But these motherfuckers that get twenty four like, hours, no. Nah, I don't like that, bro. Because I plan on this this platform to be huge one day. So you say I can't I, I can't get I can't get no date. No, you can get a date, but think about it. yo, you can be big, right? Even for love attention, you got a lot of attention. So they might try to fuck with you because you got attention. Mm-hmm. If I get fuck with him, know. I probably can get attention as well. You know, so it's, you got so what? You yeah, out it's, cra- it's, it's, a cra- it's a crazy lane to be yeah. in. It's a crazy lane. It's figuring and out if they genuine or not is gonna be the hard part. Yeah, figuring out if they genuine, and that's one thing that I was talking to uh, one of my boys about last week. He was just talking about how he said, um, man, I got to wait time on until I get my wife. I was no. like, bro, that's kind of, I said, bro, I said, man, honestly, I feel like I, I want my woman right now. I think what you need is a, a Savannah. Help. Bro, what? That's what you need, Savannah. That nigga's the top of the fucking world. It's locked in with it. I tell you, I tell, I tell you one thing for sure, two things for certain. Another good girl coming to my life, I am not fumbling. I can tell you that, bro. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't. I, I, just, be, I done seen what's out there, bro. It ain't oh, looking yeah, good. It's, 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 it's trash. It's looking like Flint out there. <laughs> Monkey dating pool, huh? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It ain't looking about, too good out there, bro. The right one come across. You gotta be. You gotta be on it, and be. Mm-hmm. A, you gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to accept that. Or be in the right headspace to accept her. And shit like mm-hmm. that. You might just fuck it over. So, for sure. A lot of people like if I find the right one right now. Might not be good for me because I'm trying to focus on getting my shit together. So I'm mm-hmm. not really focused on relationships right now. So. Got you. So it all depends on timing mm-hmm. for real. So how do you how do you feel about um women, they families, bro? Do you feel like you got to get along with a woman's family, or can you be with a woman and her family don't like you? Because I hear that a lot, man. I like, think most of my most of my exes, they families didn't like me. What they, really? Yeah. Well, no, some a lot of them did, but some of them just. Well, you know, a lot of people, be, uh, a lot of family members were stuck on their past, their exes and shit like that. So that's it. You know, mm-hmm. now, here's my favorite ex, favorite. Ooh, right. It's like mm, I already don't like you. So. So how you deal with that? You just don't care. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I forget my fuck got parents and shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not dating their parents. Right, but I don't even want to talk to parents. Yeah. Because you say something crazy to me, I might say something back. Because I'm a grown ass yeah. adult. I'm gonna talk to your ass. So. So it's no. It, so is it a? So you, like, let's just say you met her dad and. She, and he get bucked. You ain't gonna keep that respect line. It's, it's over with. Being that, being that I'm a troll, you want to take it there? <laughs> you want to you want to see what you can do, <laughs> old man? I keep telling you these things, old man. I'm looking at, yeah. I, don't know, I try to be respectful as I can, right? But disrespect. So I'm, like, that's not like a non-negotiable. So it's like the family don't rock with you. We gonna still walk down that aisle. Yeah, you cool can, with yeah. that? Because I'm. But if the family don't me. like you, that means they the the wedding gonna be crazy. I gonna be like your family, like. You don't think that'll be a problem later no, down the I line? I do for certain certain people. If so, a lot of times, a lot of times like I right, say, shorty family don't like you that much, but she not cool with her family that much either. So it's not really gonna affect. Yeah, you so it's like it, it really is. You not really it's that close to y'all him, versus but the not, world, right? But, shit, but, but yeah, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I would say it is a it's, it plays an important role. Man, a lot of got kids, mm-hmm. you know, they can look out for the kids or whatever, fuck, or be, be an extra support. You yeah, because you need a village. It's it's yeah. super important. I feel like a lot of people when they finally have kids, that's when they realize like that village is important. You need people to lean on when you have kids, but you need people to lean on in general. Like I'm real big on family, so that's like a non negotiable for me. If like I can't get along with your family, if our families can't get along, I'm not doing it because I'm not living my life for the next twenty years without my family. No, that, that family thing is kind of it's kind of weird for me. Man, look, our family needs to. That's a part. Like, our they need to. Like, we. Go, but you gonna know the type of person you talking to, the type of background she come from. That's another thing with the culture. Like, I done talked to a few Hispanics before, and they came out and said they dad don't like them talking to black dudes. Damn, what? You damn that black? Man. All right. They don't like it, bro. They just do not. And mm-hmm. it's like, all right, well, I don't care. I want to date you. No, bro. No, I don't want to deal with that. Can't force that. Nah, I would like <laughs> it's not, it, but that's what I'm saying, bro. So if it was one of those situations, you wouldn't care. Mm. But you say you would never. But I'm just speaking in like if, if like you know, just generally it, speaking. I feel like it depends on the woman. How do you feel about your parents not liking me? Then we can go right. Cause I can I can agree or disagree with all I want, 
But right, if but she, if they like yeah, on their side, lean on it's not gonna work if she on their side for real. But yeah. it might not even work for real if it's on and playing on y'all favor. If she close to her family, eventually she's gonna that's that's gonna make her feel sad. They're gonna be, they she, gonna be, they gonna be not and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if she can't like talk to your family man so that's it's real big for me bro the family thing the families have to get along so it's different for me because i'm a family i'm a family person mm -hmm. like i support everybody who close with their family but, but I, i've never been really close to my family so it's, it's kind of tricky for me so i don't know so it's okay so that family is just like a touchy yeah. subject i want to be close mm -hmm. but it's just never been so yeah. yeah so how do you how do you deal with like the mental health aspect of dating once the the relationship is over Cause you can say you don't care a lot, but dating somebody for a long period of time, it does affect you a little bit, man. So, how what are some things that you do to like heal from the past experiences? Uh, occupy your mind, keep mm -hmm. yourself busy. You know, yeah. start focus on yourself. Try try not gonna uh, look goals for yourself. Like what what I'm trying to accomplish. You know, just get yourself busy. Stop trying to think on the past. A lot of times, <clears throat> people get stuck on the past and not the future. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, yeah. Lot, that's what I do. I just, what I got next going for myself. Well, I'm finna do this. I'm finna do that. First of all, if I, we break up, I'm not thinking about you for real, for real. Cause you one of those people? people you call, you yeah, just... you, you ask for a reason. You know, you ask for that in my life. So, that's how that's how I look at it personally. Mm -hmm. I've been, in, like I said, I've been with a lot of relationships and shit like that. So, that's just how I adapted to this shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, what I can say is just definitely give yourself time, man. Give yourself time to decipher those feelings. Um, because you never know, you never know if you're really over a person until you sitting back thinking and dwelling and find yourself falling into like this little depression. You know what I mean? Until you like, dang, I really, I really am messed up right now. Like I, you, because like the first two months you going out, you distracting yourself. Then you sit back and like, man, like this really happening. So you got to like stay connected to yourself, man. <clears throat> yeah. Men. Find yourself. Men and men, man, stay connected to your purpose, bro. Stay connected to who you are as a person. I've seen too many times where men get in relationships and put they all into a woman. They, they stop they working self, out. Bro. They stop doing what the woman was attracted to, and the woman don't like you no more. Stay connected to your person purpose. That's the reason that women follow your lead is because you're connected to a higher something bigger than yourself. Women don't take the lead from a man that don't that don't have nothing going on for himself. So continue to work on yourself. That's an everyday thing. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to work on your mental health, and continue to get better. Yeah, when you have, when you get in a relationship, you're never supposed to lose the best, the best, better sides of yourself. A lot of times, people do that shit. They venture off, or they get too complacent, or well, allow people to to alter they, you know, their ways and shit like mm -hmm. that. So you yeah. just become a fucking shell at that point, and it never works out at that point because you're no longer you. Mm -hmm. Now you question yourself, like, damn, am I tweaking? Am I fucking up or some shit? Because you lost your weight, nigga. Mm. So yeah. Hey, that's super powerful, bro. You said you start to like second guess yourself as a person, mm -hmm. and and that's tough to deal with because you like, man, I thought I was enough. I thought this is what she wanted, like, but you have to stay connected because it's a reason that she's attracted to you. It's not just looks. When women are attracted to men and they looking for long term, they looking at a man who's overall like he on his mission. He pray to God. He take care of his responsibilities. Is he respectful man to the people around him? What is the company he keep? This is all angles that women look at. These are all angles that men look at. Yeah. But I will tell you this. Women are putting you to the test from the time you start talking to them. You sitting up here telling women what you're going to do, what you have, but they ain't seen it. You sitting there talking about this, they ain't seen it. You talking what you're doing, words. they ain't seen it. Do what you got to do, man. Stay connected to your purpose and stay connected to yourself. Women as well. But, you know, it's a man-to-man -man podcast, so I got to speak to the fellas. I see it too often where no, <laughs> I see it too <laughs> I see it too often when people lose themselves after relationships, bro. So that's why, you know what I'm saying, I had to touch on that, man, because I've been through a number of breakups, man. So. No, I'm just sad to see motherfuckers that, that's, that be keep holding on. Like you're, going yeah. through, you're going through the, the worst So how does that look? Like, yeah, how does that look? Hey, bro, let go. It's okay to let go. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people are afraid to let go. Okay, they don't know what's going to happen next. That might be the best years of your time, fucking life when you let go. Cause a lot of times, like, <clears throat> I say, like, you relationship, right? Man, I love this girl, woo, all this shit like that. And you like, damn, I don't want, you know, I don't want this to end. Next thing you know, you got a relationship, mm -hmm. you find someone else just as dope or better. Right. And you like, damn, did I really love Shreddy? That's crazy. Like, I've I, I done that shit a lot of times. Yeah, it's contemplation. Yeah, like, back, was, I, was I really lusting? 
And I think that's one thing that yeah, you have to. That's, that's a lot of lust. Not really one love. thing that you have to be able to decipher is if you're lusting or this somebody that you really like, man. Or love, or it's different from love and then in love for somebody. You feel me? I got love for you, but I mean I'm in love with you. So break down in love, bro. Because I hear that a lot. Love yeah. and in love. And break love that is, down. Love is one of the motherfuckers like, no, I need you in my life. Like I really want you type shit. Love is like I fought you heavy. So from like that. that definition, you haven't been in love yet in life. I have. Okay. I, I probably said like twice. Okay. You've been in, you, in love twice. Yeah, and you know you know it because you like nigga, you 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 falling out and they like fuck nigga like. Ugh, nigga. No, that's that's a in love joint right there. Yeah. So a I lot of times, I, yeah. So I, I guess love. I guess I have too, brother. <laughs> no, you sure. know what I'm saying? But that's why I say, man. Having having a like everybody that's for you will be for you if it's meant to be then it'll be but also identifying good people and being able to know when the next person is a good person and not fumbling into something that I definitely have honed in on like really mm-hmm. focusing on myself and like the next person that comes to my life bro we just gonna rock it out and, and make sure we friends first build a solid foundation you can't build a foundation on on sand it has to be on solid rock. Solid ground for sure. For sure. But this was man to man interpersonal relationship with dating age with my boy Sean. I appreciate you for pulling up. If you guys want the description to that book, I'm going to have a description to the book in the bio. If you guys want to see this podcast go further, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Run up my socials, The Real Ali Banks on Instagram. Then you could catch that link. It'll take you to everything else. Um, you guys stay tuned. I got the ebook dropping soon, the how to ebook. Seven pages of straight value and game on how to start your podcast from start to finish. Tune this, in. this is going to be an ebook that I put on Shopify, but this ebook is going to be full of value, full of gems, full of mindset, full of keys, how to get a clientele, how to keep a consistent clientele, the equipment, the podcast, the mindset you have to go into. I got the cheap route for the podcast equipment, the expensive route, and the in between. So you guys stay tuned for that. That's going to be in the works. Um, I appreciate you for guys for tuning into this episode. Stay tuned for the next one because we only getting better. Yes, sir.